Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers and we'll extend our discussion on temperature sensors. So we have discussed the acoustic temperature sensor and the gas thermometric sensor. In this video, we are going to discuss about the very, you know, commonly used, uh, you know, temperature measurement device, which we all have in our homes, which we take out when we get a fever or something which is the liquid in glass thermometers okay so the liquid in glass thermometers as i said is the most commonly used household device also used by doctors and uh, you know medical professionals to measure temperature and it is a very simple and very you know inexpensive uh, thing to use so it is based on the thermal expansion of liquid when exposed to temperature. So it is the thermally sensitive liquid. So before going into detail about the, uh, you know, the device, we know that the thermal expansion of a material, most substances, they expand when heated and contract when cooled. That is when temperature lowers, they contract and when temperature increases, they expand. But how much expansion, how much contraction, that depends on the material. Okay, so here some terms come into play, some concepts come into play, which is linear expansion, surface area expansion and volume expansion. So this is the linear and surface, they generally are used for solid, you know, substances and for liquid and gas, we are particularly interested in the volume expansion. So the linear expansion, let's just discuss it. The linear expansion, which gives us the change in length of a material in response to change in temperature, delta T, let's delta T is the change in temperature, it is given by the change in length delta L is alpha L0 delta T, where L0 is the original length or the initial length. Okay, alpha is the linear expansion coefficient in one dimension, okay, it is in one dimension. <coughs> okay, sorry linear expansion coefficient. So this much change in length happens when the temperature is increased or decreased by this much factor. So the final length is given by this, okay, L0 plus delta. Generally it is increasing temperature, that's why I have increased the length because they expand when heated. Same for surface area expansion. The change in surface area delta A of a material in response to an increase in temperature delta T is given by this. Delta A is equal to beta A0 delta T where A0 is the original surface area. Beta is the surface area coefficient so or the surface expansion coefficient and the final sorry this is the final area not the final length the final surface area that is given by AF is equal to the initial area plus beta A0 delta T which is this this factor delta A. Now for liquids which we are interested in for this uh, device, the volume expansion coefficient or the volume expansion concept comes into play. So the change in volume of a material, generally it is applied for liquids and gases. <clears throat> in response to change in temperature is given by delta V, the change in volume equals to gamma V0 delta T. So, here V0 is the original volume, then gamma is the volume expansion coefficient, okay. 
and the final volume as I said it is the initial or the original volume plus the change in volume which is this factor gamma d0 delta t here okay so <clears throat> the commonly used uh, not commonly used but some liquids which have the volume expansion coefficients they are given here mercury 180 to 10 to the power minus 6 gasoline 915 to 10 to the power minus 6 ethyl alcohol 1110 to the power minus 6, glycerin 510 to the power minus 6, water 210 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, uh, the basic operating principle, the construction and working is that we have this kind of a design which you commonly find in uh, your houses when you put uh, you take out the thermometer from the casing. So we have the bulb which consists the thermally sensitive liquid generally mercury is used or a red colored alcohol is used but generally we have mercury thermometers. This is the thermally sensitive liquid okay here it houses the thermally sensitive liquid commonly is mercury this area is exposed or is brought in contact with the temperature or the object whose temperature is to be measured okay point where temperature is to be measured so in response to the temperature the thermally sensitive liquid it either expands or contracts and then we have a very transparent magnifying coating on this on this casing and the outer casing which has a calibrated scale okay a calibrated scale which is generally in terms of degree Fahrenheit okay and that gives us the measure of the temperature okay so this is the liquid column in the capillary tube okay so uh, this uh, thermally sensitive liquid when the temperature is lowered it it goes down and when it goes up the temperature goes up it expands and it moves upwards so here are some of the liquids which are used in thermally sensitive thermometers liquid and glass thermometers and their temperature ranges so mercury which is commonly used it has its range from minus 35 to 350 degrees celsius pentane is minus 200 to 30 degrees celsius alcohol is minus 80 to plus 70 degrees celsius toluene is minus 80 to 100 degrees celsius and creosote is minus 5 to 200 degrees celsius but generally generally you will find mercury and in some cases the red color you know uh, alcohol based thermometers okay so very simple uh, you know explanation and most commonly used device in households and used by medical professionals okay so here let us try to understand this whole thing from a three-dimensional perspective. So here we have the liquid in glass thermometers where the thermally sensitive liquid is in the bulb. So this is uh, kept in contact with the object or the point where temperature is to be measured. Okay. And in response to the fluctuating temperature so here when this uh, contact point the bulb where the thermally sensitive liquid is present is uh, is uh, brought in contact with the point or the object where the temperature is to be measured the thermally sensitive liquid it contracts or expands so when the temperature is lowered it contracts it goes down and when the temperature is increased it expands and goes up so we have a calibrated scale with 
uh, outer coating which magnifies this whole thing and we get a proper measure of the temperature. Generally it is in terms of degree Fahrenheit because uh, that is the normal temperature range in which the body temperature or the temperature which we measured in households and it is measured by medical professionals that comes in that range. So this is the basic principle of liquid and gas uh, glass thermometers based on the concept of thermal expansion. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.